freaking out right now. <laughs> One of you commented on my last vlog and was like, is it true that the Alfred's vanilla syrup like goes bad after three weeks? And I was like, oh my God, I hope not because this is a new bottle that I just got. I haven't opened this one yet, but I just literally yesterday threw out my old bottle and I've had it for like four months. Well, actually like two months, but still. And the even scarier part is like, it's always been just sitting down here. Like that's where I keep them, it right there. Like I don't refrigerate. And yesterday, I'm not kidding, I, made my coffee and I had to pour it out because it tasted funny. I've been drinking expired vanilla syrup. Like what the f I just woke up. It's Tuesday, but it feels like Monday. Yesterday was Memorial Day, but it's like 6.30 in the morning. I'm gonna plant my butt here with my coffee and my watermelon. <laughs> and I have so much editing to do for the wedding, the wedding content, so. <laughs> Ignore how I look right now. I'm still in my pajamas because I'm like about to get after it. Cassidy's downstairs on the phone, Dylan's sister. If you missed the last vlog, she's living with us for the month. She's um, interning at Vanderbilt for the football team, but she doesn't start till tomorrow. Dylan's at work right now, and we're going to get after this closet. Uh, not closet. <laughs> this is my office. I don't even know if I've ever showed you guys because it's just literally such a mess, but. This Peloton's gonna go downstairs in the garage because we don't even pull our cars into the garage. So I'm like, we might as well use it for like a gym, place to hold like stuff, whatever. So we're gonna organize the garage too. Ever since we came back from the honeymoon, I'm like in the mood to deep clean organize this house. It was so organized when we moved in and then I feel like with the wedding and stuff and like with all my traveling, it just got out of hand and I just have like, this room is like bursting at the seams. Like it's gotta be fixed. And then next we're gonna do the bathroom. This mirror I recently got when we moved in, this huge mirror and I love it, but I can never come in here and do like outfits of the day because I feel like this room is just such a mess. Like I don't want this to be the background of all my photos. So the desk is the only thing staying in here along with the rug and the mirror. And I wanna get like a cute chair and stuff, but it just needs to be organized. So this will go, Emily's taking this couch Hopefully sometime soon she can come get it, but I have all my wedding stuff that I need to unpack. I wanna put like all my wedding looks and stuff in this closet along with like winter coats and stuff. So we're gonna work on organizing that. I have all these new clothes in from Revolve, which I wanna give you guys a Revolve haul, but there's just literally shit everywhere and I can't even think straight with my stuff like this. So I'm gonna turn on some music, get after it. I don't even know what to do. I'm gonna make a bin of like wedding keepsake, like stuff that I know I don't want to take out all the time. Um, so I'm gonna do like like Dylan's bow tie from the wedding. Um, like our, this is our like full on wedding timeline, like literally hour by hour. So I thought this was special, we can look back on that. Um, I also have, I also have this entire box of like wedding stuff. Um, these are like my sneakers that Lily made me for the wedding, which I obviously want to keep. I have this, which I need to leave out. I've been getting a ton of questions if I'm going to be selling a lot of my wedding looks. And there's like maybe like one or two dresses that I'll probably list on Poshmark. I've been trying to get around to listing stuff on Poshmark. I just haven't really had time. You can come in here. Um, but there's like things that I want to keep for like my friends and stuff when they get married and like Emily and stuff. So. If you're wondering, I feel like I've seen a ton of DMs asking if I'm selling wedding looks, but I think I'm too much of a hoarder for that. <laughs> like my wedding, these are my slides that I wore the wedding morning getting ready. And they're from the Indigo Child, they're so cute. And then my veil. You know what makes me so sad? You spent all this money, like a lot of money on dresses and then like this stuff and then like look at my veil. It's like in a ball and wrinkled. But it's like, what are you supposed to do with My that? mom actually lost her wedding dress for like, 10 years. Didn't and then she found it? She had no idea where she was. I was like, Oh, she found it? Because I was like, Mom, like, everyone's trying on their mom's wedding dresses. I want to try yours on. And she Did was she like, go? I don't know where mine is. <laughs> kind of like a year ago. <laughs> oh my God, wait, I'm glad she found it. Are you going to like take part of it? I know a lot of people who do that. Was it you? Somebody that like, well, here's my wedding skirt. Like, this makes me want to cry. This is so pretty. I'm going to put it on. <laughs> wait, actually. Y'all look. This is my skirt. You obviously saw all from the vlog. Oh, wait, 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 it's in touch. Here comes the bride, baby. Part two. Oh, this makes me like sad. Like seriously. Whatever. 
Everyone must move on. <laughs> I feel like I need to put this. Look at the bottom. It's like literally black, y'all. Thank God our dresses were black because I would. Oh my God, Cassidy, when I show you my dress, when I take it out of the garbage bag that's been sitting in, you're going to literally want to cry. I'm going to get like a nice garment bag and like hang it in there. So I'm going to leave that out. But I'm making a wedding box. So okay. that's what I was thinking. I was thinking that we could do. They all will go in here. Just like so all like the special wedding stuff is in one place. Okay. Got the bow books. The day of letters, Brayden's letter. Got a Winnie napkin. Just one. <laughs> Just one Winnie napkin. It's fine, we'll save that. I stole some A's for Alyssa. Oh, I have a lot. Does she want any more? Does she have enough to take photos? She has skin. Okay. So I'm gonna do the socks Dylan, the guys wore, these shoes. You know it's kind of funny how a room full of things feels completely empty when you're not in the wings how could i have known the fortune i would find a peace deep in my bones the beauty day and night and you Anywhere I feel like home Home isn't where we live It's living by your side Oh, and I can't imagine any other way The way our world needs your touch Okay, you guys, I'm so happy. This room. <laughs> has never been this clean since we've lived here. So we've got everything out of here. This bike is gonna be gone in a few days. And then I'm gonna try to decide on what I'm gonna do with the desk where I'm gonna put it, but I think it's kind of cute like in this little nook. I have this little like bridal robe I'm gonna send to my friend, she just got engaged. We've got this closet, which I'm very excited about this. I love that we have a big closet in this office for storage. So I just have some wedding looks right here. When the rest come home from the dry cleaners, I'm gonna put them in here, maybe get some garment bags to keep them nice and clean. Um, up here we have like Dylan's PlayStation that I don't think he's played in literally years. Got electronics in those two bags. I have this bin right here to keep like all my tripods and just more electronics. And then we did bins and this top one is everything wedding. So like all wedding stuff. Then we have arts and craft bin. Then I have kind of random, but it fit in here. This is just like a bunch of um, winter pajamas. You guys know I'm obsessed with like PJ sets. So I have so many. So I put them in here. So we still have plenty of room to hang stuff. And I'm very excited about that. And then once this couch is out of here, this will open all the way. And Cassidy, again, an angel sent from heaven, <laughs> organized all of my new clothes that I wanted to do a revolve haul for. So I have them all out right here. She literally did them like by brand and everything. So I'll film that probably tomorrow and put in the end of this vlog. So very excited. I feel like I'm going to start coming in here more often because I think it's like a really cute room and I love it. I just feel like I can't work in chaos and it was like always cluttered. So now we're on to the bathroom, which is scary. <laughs> Tragic. I'm literally exposing myself on YouTube right now. Tragic. Absolutely tragic. I've seen worse. <laughs> tragic. There's just so much product that I just need to go through and organize because it's stuff that I love and want to use, but it's everywhere. So here we go. You guys, I'm so excited. We're all finished and we have two full garbage bags of stuff. And then we also made a whole bag of like donate and then Cassidy took a bunch of stuff. So everything is like perfectly organized i'm so excited this top drawer is like everything that i use daily so everything that i need during the day so I have like hair ties i organized this really well when i moved in but i feel like life just got busy so um hair ties we've got everyday perfume my hair pills that i'm starting to take again the well bell i've got like teeth whitening stuff um everyday toothbrush toothpaste deodorant lip chap this is all my skincare i use daily and then all my like facial tools and things and then i also have eye patches that i put on every morning so I have all that there and then i'm gonna run to the container store tomorrow probably to get some more of these to finish organizing this but i have all hair stuff 
and then all my perfumes, which I'm gonna organize, but I got rid of a ton of just like excess stuff. And then under here, I know it doesn't look organized, but this is all my skincare, like extra skincare, and then also some body stuff. So I'm gonna get some organizers for this stuff. Very excited, and then I have all like my masks and stuff right here. And then this closet looks incredible. We're gonna go through this. We're gonna organize it a little bit better, but we have to go to a little um, cookout for Dylan's work. So we were kind of in a rush, but to put that under there, we emptied this out completely, which I'm excited about. So I'm gonna bring that bin to the garage. Cassidy folded all of my towels literally perfectly and organized all of this stuff. So very excited about that. I have two more bins that I am organizing. I've got my robe. This is the robe that I wore on the day of my wedding getting ready. And now I wear it like every time I get out of the shower. It's like so special. It's so, so pretty. And yeah, that's basically it. We've got two trash bags. I'm gonna take these downstairs. I just kind of wiped up. I've got some cleaning stuff. The house is coming together, you guys. I'm so excited. Do you like my new shoes? Yeah, nice. They look like bowling shoes. I know, I knew you were gonna say that. Oh, I was gonna put lotion on, I forgot. I gotta get your reaction to how clean the bathroom is. Nice. <laughs> I'm gonna clean your side next because I feel like your side could use some organizing. Okay, we're gonna do outfit details, but we have to shut the door so they don't see our messy bedroom. Top, all right, well first we're going to <laughs> top, love boutique from Alabama. <laughs> we're going to a bonfire or a- Why do you keep saying bonfire? It's because all morning I've been editing the bonfire vlog. Oh, I got you. Um, we're going to a cookout before work starts back up for Dylan, so I'm gonna meet all of the staff, which I'm freaking out about. <laughs> So I'm wearing something cash. Dylan's wearing, show them what you're wearing for reference. Show them in the mirror. <laughs> so I'm wearing this, which I feel like is like cute but casual. So I'm gonna wear this bag. Love this bag. I get off forward. I'm gonna link this bag. You guys need it. If you're gonna buy one designer bag, you need it. What? Oh, we're gonna bring a designer bag. <laughs> okay, my top. Just like an oversized tee, I feel like these are great for summer. Um, it's from Brandy Melville. And then these shorts I've been literally living in. I think I've worn them every single day. Like since it's not even right. <laughs> and they're vintage from, I got them in New York, so I can't link them, which sucks, but whatever. And then just my jewelry, this chain I've been loving. I like, I'm not a huge necklace person, but lately I've been loving this chain. It's from Ori. It's their new necklace that they came out with. I did a video with them about this necklace and I love it. And then my sneakers are new. I got them off of Revolve. <laughs> oh, really? I thought you got them from the local bowling alley. <laughs> They're by the brand Isabella, Isabel Marant. Isabel Marant must be a good bowler. They're cute, right? Yeah. All right, we gotta go. Okay, super quick, I wanted to pause today's vlog to thank StoryWorth for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are new around here, you have not heard me talk about them, but if you are an OG, you know I've been talking about them for a while now. I love this company, the whole vision behind it, it's incredible. They are a online service that helps you and your loved ones connect through sharing stories and memories, and it preserves them for years to come. Obviously, Father's Day is right around the corner, so this would be such a special gift um, to give to your father or your father figure in your life. Um, I did this one, so this is my one from Mother's Day that I showed you guys. I also did one for Christmas where I already gifted my dad one, but such a good gift idea for grandparents, family members, friends, literally anybody. Every single week, StoryWorth will email your dad or father figure or whoever you decide to gift the book to with a um, question. So it's basically like a question, a more in-depth question than you would just kind of talk about at like the dinner table or things like that. So it picks from a pool of questions and it sends it their way, they answer, and then it compiles all of the answered questions from your dad, father figure, etc into a book and it's just such a special thing to have, like something that you can cherish and hold on to for, for forever. I feel like nowadays people, when they gift clothing items or things, it kind of is just like, it comes and goes with the trends or when you move, you lose it or things like that. And this is just such a special, special gift. I feel like since we've had the wedding, I have realized and really like learned to cherish like family and friends and just like realize how thankful and blessed I am in my life. And like, I'm gonna get emotional talking about it, but I feel like, 
I just edited my wedding video last night so that's why I'm like a mess but that's something that I will cherish forever and I feel like this book is the same thing um obviously our parents are getting older and things like that and it's just such such a special thing to have in your life so i highly highly recommend if you're someone who likes to get sentimental and get on a deeper level this is such an amazing amazing gift idea like i said after one year they will compile all of the stories that they have answered into a nice really nice hardcover book and they will also add like photos and things like that this is like an example one so you guys can see but so it'll be like a question they can put a photo and then um, like their story and their answer. So very, very, very special. If you guys are interested, you can go to storyworth.com slash ratkey. I think this is one of my last discounts or offer codes with the last name ratkey. So again, storyworth.com slash ratkey, and that gets you $10 off of your first purchase or your first book with Storyworth. So check them out. Such a special, special and like timeless gift that you could give someone. Um, and I love it so much. So thank you, Storyworth, for working with me in today's vlog. I love you guys. And we will get back into the video. To get the camera out of the car. It's been all over for it this morning. Dishes are clean. They're drying. I'm gonna light a new candle. I'm so excited I set this out because I'm waiting to burn it, but I was waiting to burn through um, a different candle, and I wanted to make sure the first time I burned this, I was like home for a while. So I have a lot of work to do, just like being around the house today. We have furniture getting delivered today, so. Um, Whenever you have a big candle like this, make sure you, the first burn, you burn all the way to the outside. Because if not, the full candle won't like burn properly. So I'm so excited about this candle. I got it in New York with my mom. We went wedding dress shopping. So it's like kind of special to me. And it's from the one hotel. So it's like the Santal, um, I think it's the Le Labo 33 scent. And it smells literally incredible. I don't know if you can order their candles online. It is like a very pricey candle, but it's pretty big, like almost the size of my hand. Here we go, the first burn, Winnie. Here it comes. I'm gonna make a coffee. Ugh. Ugh. Look at this again, guys. Any more beans? New pack, fresh new pack of Alfred beans. I'm still like shook about the vanilla syrup <laughs> situation. When I was about to turn on the camera to make my coffee, I was like, I don't need to show them making my coffee. And I was like, wait, I want to because I'm like, Honestly, they might be bored by it, but I feel like it sounds so dumb, but when you film your whole life and when I see your guys' like names and stuff come up on the comments and things like that, I feel like I get to like know you guys. It's the strangest thing ever, but I feel like I'm like, part of my morning coffee routine is to like talk to the camera. So I'm like, might as well say hello and good morning, but I don't know. I think it's so crazy. I feel like putting your life out there on a camera if you do it for so long it just becomes like so normal i look back at my old videos and i'm like when i talk to the camera i seemed uncomfortable even though back then i was like i felt like i was but now it's literally just so second nature for me i've been doing it for three years now that i'm like i feel like i just know you guys and you guys know me and you know my family and you know my life and you know what i do and so this is just like the routine and it's like you guys log on and log on you guys like get on and are like a part of my morning coffee and like maybe it's like a ritual for you guys and like maybe you save your coffee to drink while you like watch my video and it's like we hang out together it's like the strangest thing but if you really think about it it's like kind of makes sense <laughs> i'm like comment below if that's how you feel i don't know i'm just like thinking about this that this morning i'm like it's kind of crazy how you guys like are so invested in my life but i'm like i feel like it's like a friendship almost so you know comment below anyways we're making a latte right now we're almost out of milk we have a lot to do today i need to go to the grocery store um what else do i need to do edit a video i have to do for a brand and the final wedding video today i need to do that we have a furniture delivery and we're gonna place an order for some more furniture so i recently just got these gold straws off of amazon and i like them but they're skinnier than my glass one so i still prefer like the big glass straw but the gold is cute 
like it's a cuter aesthetic than the glass, I guess, but I really like the glass straws. I'll link both. And also these cups are from Target. I'm going to try to find them again on the website because I, for some reason, this dang cup gets so many questions. I don't know why, but new little part of our morning routine is to go take our coffee outside. Dylan just went back to work this morning. Him and Cassidy are at work. Um, Cassidy's Dylan's sister. I feel like I've said this million of times. She was in this video already yesterday, but she's working um, for an internship at the football facility all summer. So she'll be staying with us and they're at work. So back to the work week. I always feel like when Dylan's on vacation, it feels like I'm on vacation, even though I'll still like film and stuff. But this is Dylan's first day back at work since um, like first staff day that actually started. He went into the office like for two hours yesterday, but today like actually starts like summer ball. So he'll be busy this summer with like camps and then like spring or uh, fall ball and fall camp will start and all that stuff. So football season is quickly approaching, but lately we've been taking Winnie outside and we'll go play ball for like 30 minutes while we drink our coffee and it's so fun. So I woke up this morning like <laughs> kind of missing him because I'm like, I have to go play ball by myself. So anyways, um, we're gonna go do that. This is how, i show you guys how Winnie stares at us in the kitchen when we're cooking. Hi, that's your spot, isn't it? It's your spot on the couch. Can you see? <laughs> Say no, mom, I need a haircut. I know you have a haircut in a few days. That's really exciting, right? It's so fun out. Oh, thank you, big stretch, okay. Ready? <laughs> Can't even see your eyes. Like I was kind of saying, today we have a bed frame getting delivered from 12 to 4 is the window. Um, I'm going to try to go to a workout tonight, but I'm thinking I'll probably just start my workout tomorrow. <laughs> Pushed it off for a few days since we've gotten back from vacation, but honestly, I'm just giving myself, I'm being graceful with myself when it comes to getting back into working out. Bring me your ball. We'll get it. I'm excited to get the house. I've been like in house mode. I want to get everything super organized, super like decorated and like good. Um, just because I know for football season, we'll have a lot of guests in and out just because now we're closer to family and they'll come up for games. Um, and I just want to make sure like the guests are com comfortable in the guest room. So the bed frame's getting delivered today. I've been waiting on it for like a month and a half. So I'm very excited. And then um, what else? I ordered some like decor pieces from McGee & Co, Lulu & Georgia. Um, just a few things so as those come in I'll obviously show you guys and then I want to place one more order on restoration the original side tables that I wanted keep getting back ordered so I just canceled the order yesterday and I found a new set that I really like on RH they're pricey and so that's why I went with the original first ones but I'm like you know what the, the cloud bed frame that we have and the side tables I know we will always keep so i'm like it's worth in my mind investing and that's going to be our bedroom set for forever i feel like it's very timeless and it's so my style and i feel like no matter what house we move into i'll always love it so um i'm just gonna bite the bolt on the um, nightstands and just say it's like a wedding gift to ourselves or something i don't know They've, i've wanted them for probably like two and a half years now so i'm gonna order those things today get everything going so by the time i come home i'm leaving town next week again for a fun exciting trip and when i come back the furniture will be delivered so what i love about rh is that if the items are in stock they deliver in like a week so that's really nice but a lot of their stuff has been out of stock lately because of the back order and demand for like furniture and stuff so anyways that's my little furniture update i'm obsessed with these pajamas i keep looking into the viewfinder i love this color right now this like minty i want to get my nails this color next time i get my nails done um but this is a collab from the sunday riley i think i showed in my vlog um and i'm obsessed with the daily sleeper and sunday riley so cute little club i'm obsessed with these i don't know if you can buy them but you can buy just the daily sleeper like without the sunday riley logo on it so if you like these jammies they're cute i'll show you guys pants just look like this you can like tie them up so they're like they're supposed to be like kind of short and then the top it's just like really oversized it's one size i think it's so cute and there's pockets so love it coming into the office to show you guys a new little revolve haul i'm so excited to like actually be able to use this room and the lighting right now is really good so i'm gonna show you guys some revolve picks everything is like basically like comfy athleisure sometimes a lot of their sweats sell out quick but i'll still link and you can do like pre-order i always have my revolve favorites linked in my description which i literally update every morning i wake up 
when I'm laying in bed on my phone for a little bit, I'll like scroll their new arrivals and add some stuff that I want or that I like or things that I think are cute, things like that. So a lot of random sweats really. Some of this stuff isn't from Revolve. Like Daily Drill sent me this set, which I am obsessed with. It's like a pink little ribbed set and then this little cropped hot pink pullover. The quality of Daily Drill stuff is insane and I love the company. I love the girls that started it really really cute company what else is it from there oh these are just like some like parachute pants that i ordered off of this website that Haley bieber gets all of her pants from like she has these in like every color and they're literally huge i don't know how she wears them i think i got too big of a size but i'm gonna try on some of these sweats and share with you guys because some of them are really good finds and you need if you're looking for like comfy athleisure for the summer i quickly wanted to show you um some like accessory things first though before I showed you guys the sweats, but I got this pearl choker. Um, I've been really into like pearl and beaded necklaces for summer. So I got one that was a little more dainty that I could wear a little more like every day. But I like can't. <laughs> I have a big head. So you literally just put it on, which is nice because you can kind of put it to the length that you want it, but I was thinking more of a choker situation. I thought this was so cute for summer with like a little bikini and then layered with other necklaces. And then I also got these little studs, which I'm obsessed with. I believe they're by the brand Lily Clasp. Again, I'll link all this stuff for you guys in the description, but it's just like a double earring and it hoops like that. It's like literally so pretty, so. Got those. We tried them on right now, but I honestly haven't taken out my second hoop since I got it done. So I need to like look in a mirror for that, but. And then I also got another Hunza G scrunchie. I got this purple one to go with this bikini. And I wanted to talk about this bikini. I'm not gonna try it on because I feel like you guys have seen these on me. I'll insert like a photo of a Hunza G bikini, but of it on. They're one size fits most, I would say, but the best bikini brand lately i've been more into full coverage i feel like lately it's like the only swimsuit i wear i reach for it all the time i have a ton of colors and they just came out with this new style where it's like um a different material from the original so you guys can see this is like the original material it's very stretchy i love it so much but i thought that this was like a little like different little twist so it's a little bandeau top scrunchy matches and then the bottoms i am obsessed with these bottoms they're so good they go up so high on the side hips and then you can tell even from it facing front how full coverage and what's nice is you can pull it to like cover as much or as little as you want so like if you wanted it a little more cheeky you can like pull it kind of like up your butt but if you wanted it more full coverage you can and i love how you can hike them up on the waist i think this swimsuit like it, it sells as a set so you buy the pants and the top together um and i think it's like 215 but you guys i promise it's worth every penny i have a tan one which is the first hunza g bikini i ever got and i wore it again in the maldives like over all my brand new swimsuits i picked that one because it's like my favorite bikini ever and i feel like i talk about them all the time i'm like i wish hunza g would sponsor me because <laughs> they have the best swimsuits ever and i'm obsessed with them so if you don't have one and you're looking for like a perfect summer bikini try this out it's worth the money like i promise you guys it's worth the money and you will reach for it time and time again. It's so good. And if you want something a little more classic, maybe get like a black or a more neutral color so you can wear it more often. But they have a ton of them on Revolve and I'm just obsessed with them. So 10 out of 10 recommend. Like I would recommend this to seriously everybody. It's so good. Now I've got some athleisure things. So there's a few things I want to try on for you guys. Wait, okay, first up this little short. I need to get this coffee off the floor shorts and sports bra um it's not a set i just like paired it together but i have the paddings in this bra right now i probably will take them out so it's not as tight of a fit but i did get a small and then medium in the shorts these are the stride shorts in a medium i love these built in underwear these are like so good for summer like if you don't have a pair of shorts like this for summer i feel like you need to get these they're so good i love aloe yoga and then this little sports bra is the airlift take charge bra in a size small so good okay this is another little aloe top this is the ribbed naughty short sleeve and i love this i love like little detail and i love that it's like kind of like a little honestly kind of dresses up a workout outfit you could wear this <laughs> like going out honestly it's really cute but i plan on wearing like a little strappy sports bra underneath it so really cute just little cropped tee this would look really good with the aloe yoga skirt that i got in new york 
So I'll link this with the skirt too. Okay, next up we have this little green set from Aloe. I went like Aloe Yoga Crazy. Revolve carries a lot of Aloe and I wanted to try out a few other pieces because I don't really have a ton of Aloe stuff, but honestly, I'm like low-key obsessed now. They're really, really good quality. So I got these sweats. I sized up in a large because I know if I wash them like one or two times, they're gonna shrink. And I love my sweats oversized. These are the, uh, this is the straight leg sweatpant in a large. And then I got this bra. Normally not a huge fan of like coverage like this. I feel like it's like a little bit too thick and like too much. But I feel like with the sweats, it's cute because it makes it a set. So I would honestly wear this like almost like as a crop tank instead of like a sports bra. So I would wear this with like some slides and like make this my shirt. This would be like a cute travel day outfit or just like running to get coffee in the summer. Love this. This is the last Aloe Yoga thing. This little um, white cropped pullover. I am obsessed with this. The material is so like thin and buttery soft. This is the double take pullover. I got it in a size medium. This is so good for summer. If I could recommend any of the Aloe things, I would say get the running shorts in this. It would be cute together and cute separate. And then also these sweats are from Nike. I got them off Revolve. Really affordable for such good quality. I think they're 60 bucks and I'm obsessed with them. I got a medium. I definitely could have done a small. They're like pretty big, so size down, but I really, really love these. They're really cute. Okay, and then lastly, I got this sweat set from Free and Easy. It's just a uh, hoodie and then sweats. I think it's sold out, so I'm not gonna try it on, but I'm gonna check Revolve's website, and if you're watching this clip, it's because it's in stock or it was pre-order, so. Size up, it says it runs big, but it honestly doesn't. I got a medium and a medium, and I wish I would have gotten a large in the sweatshirt. And then I got this crew neck, which I am obsessed with this brand. You guys know I wear all of her graphic tees and it's just like a really cute pullover. She has really good stuff. So I'll link this too if it's still available. I think I might be losing my mind, you guys. I thought today was Thursday this whole time, this weekend. Um, I didn't go to a workout and stuff and I like kind of just pushed it off uh, and pushed off all my errands and like whatever I needed to do because I thought that the bed frame was getting delivered today from 12 to 4. And it's Wednesday and the bed frame is getting delivered on Thursday. So tomorrow we have furniture delivery. So I'm going to keep this vlog going into tomorrow just so you guys can see. But I'm going to run to the grocery store. We're going to do tacos tonight for dinner. No surprise. But I just need to get like ground beef and some lettuce and just like random things. I'm also going to save my big Trader Joe's grocery run that I haven't done in quite some time now to get like flour, snacks, all that, the frozen stuff, um, tomorrow as well. So we're just gonna run to Publix, I think. It's closest to me. And then also, I think I might go grab a coffee, get like a little midday coffee. It's around 3.30 and I'm honestly so tired. I've been sitting at the computer since last time I picked up the camera. I ordered my furniture, um, realized my furniture wasn't coming today, edited, all that stuff. So I also wanted to show you guys my little outfit. I'm wearing those aloe shorts that I showed you guys earlier. I love them so much, I'll link them. I think that they have them in white too on the website or maybe like a pink, but they're so soft and really, really cute for summer. And then this top I also got in the same order from Revolve. It was just in my clean clothes pile, so I forgot to show you guys, but it's a long sleeve. I wore it in the last vlog, I think. It's like the best quality and I've already washed it once so I can confirm that it washes well and I just love like the big long sleeves. It's just like very, very comfy but still not too hot for spring and summer. Um, and it's from Cotton Citizen off of Revolve and I think that they have a ton of colors so I'm definitely going to be getting more of these and then I'm just wearing my Yeezy slides which I literally wear all the time. These are the best slides literally ever. But anyways, we're gonna run to the grocery store and get some groceries. My car has air conditioned seats and it like makes a noise. It like comes through this and it makes you feel like I'm peeing my pants. <laughs> Turn it on. It's 93 degrees in Nashville today. Please get a grande cold brew with extra ice with two pumps of white mocha and vanilla cream cold foam. First off, I know I've said this in a vlog before, but I can't believe the coffee order is $7. That's like absolutely ridiculous. Um, when I started getting this coffee order like two years ago, I think it was like five sixty dollars something. And it's literally gone up so much. That's insane and honestly just sad. And what else was I going to say? Oh. This Starbucks that I'm at always does extra ice so well. So 
really pumped about that. Uh, no, but could I get one? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. You too. I need to start drinking my iced coffee out of a lid or out of a straw because it's making my teeth turn. But my favorite part about getting like a Starbucks coffee is the sip. Mmm. I swear this Starbucks here is freaking bomb. It's on Charlotte. If you guys live in Nashville, it's like the best. It's by like the Chipotle. I like the very end of Charlotte. It's the best. Okay, I need to try. Okay, I ended up going to Costco and I just got home. I got so much stuff. I was gonna do like a light little Publix run, but I was like, I'm just gonna go to Costco and get this out of the way because now that we have Cassie with us, we're probably gonna go through a little bit more food than normal and I needed to stock up on a lot of like meats and stuff. So normally what I do is I go to Costco and I like how they section their meat into like separate. Sorry if like raw meat grosses you out, but I'll freeze one section and then keep the other out. So like tonight we're gonna do tacos, so I'll just leave one out, freeze these, probably freeze all the chicken thighs minus like one, freeze the bacon. So I'm gonna do a little overview. If you guys don't have a Costco membership and you have like, and you're cooking for more than one person, I highly recommend it's like, you save a ton of money on groceries. So, I got a big thing of Smart Water. I know this is like kind of a waste. I could just fill up my Yeti, but sometimes when I'm going to my workout or something, I love to just take like a water bottle. So I'm gonna keep some of these in the fridge. Um, I got some nectarines, which I'm so excited about. This is one of my favorite fruits and they're like in season right now. So got a big thing of those. I got a big watermelon, some bananas, strawberries. I love fruit for the morning, especially during the summer. Huge thing of limes. I love lime water. Celery sticks with carrots and then cucumber. We've got some broccoli. I'm going to do like a chicken, um, like Alfredo pasta tomorrow night. So I got some broccoli for that. I got a big thing of just like thin crust pepperoni pizzas. There's like four pizzas in here and it was like 10 bucks. Sometimes Dylan will come home and I'm like not in the mood to cook or like a good easy lunch. So these are really yummy. These are my favorite crackers ever. If you get them at Costco, they're way more affordable than going to Publix. And I love to eat them with, I always get this cheese platter. And then I got this like meat platter for Dylan. He like loves to snack on meat and cheese. Um, I got some lettuce. We go through romaine lettuce so quickly in this house. I'm like always making lettuce wraps, tacos, salads, all of that. I also got some of this basil pesto. I wanted to like start putting this on sandwiches or putting it in pasta, things like that. So got some of that. I also got some new seasonings. I've been wanting to try out some of this brand. We went to a cookout last night and I think he was using one of these and it was really yummy on the rib. So I got just a salt, pepper, and garlic blend. And then I got a lemon pepper. I want to do like um, hand cut fries in the air fryer and put lemon pepper on them. So got those. I got a bottle of Prosecco for Aperol Spritz. Random, but I got some of these beads for the wash. I love these and they have huge containers of them at Costco. Little baby potatoes. These are great for like breakfast, dinner, um, air fryer. Really, really yummy. This is my literal favorite thing. I'm so glad that I found this. They didn't have it at our Costco in Colorado. Finally saw it again. It's so good if you do an egg with like a slice of this cheese and then on an English muffin. It's like the best. It tastes like a McDonald's breakfast sandwich, but like way better for you. Um, I got some of this spread cheese. It's like my favorite with crackers. And then I got a huge thing of butter. We're like completely out and they <laughs> didn't have a smaller thing. That's like the one bad thing about going to Costco is like now I have four huge things of butter, but butter doesn't really go bad for a while. So I'll just stick it in the back of the refrigerator. And then I got Dylan this variety pack of New Belgium. I saw it and I laughed because the New Belgium brewery is in Fort Collins where we used to live. And he, I know he loves these beers, so he'll be excited when he gets home from work. So that is a little grocery haul. I'm gonna clear out the fridge because I honestly don't know how all this is gonna fit. And then we'll make tacos later for dinner. Morning, you guys. I just got home from the workout. I'm gonna play ball with Winnie. Is this zoomed in or am I just that close? Winnie, I know. I'm so excited to see you. I know. I went to the 8.30 workout this morning. 
at 45, it was so hard, it was leg day, I'm like still shaking. But I had Dylan before he left for work move. Move these chairs out of the way. I'm not sure what we're gonna do with them. I think we'll keep them in the garage. Like I think I mentioned earlier until maybe we move to a different home and we have like a front porch or something. I don't know, I love these chairs way too much to get rid of them. They're from Restoration, if you guys are wondering. And then now all of this is cleared. I need to pull this rug out a little bit. Sectional out here is being delivered today, so I'm very excited. It's gonna take up all of this space, so we'll have more seating out here. And then also the bed frame, so furniture deliveries today. Sit down. Much later, all the furniture is here. Um, but they didn't unbox or move anything for me. Like it's all sitting at the front door entrance and in the garage. So I have to wait on Dylan to get home to help me do the furniture. So I'll show you guys later tonight. We have dinner tonight with my aunt and uncle. They're driving through town. So probably after dinner, we will put the furniture together. But I just ran to the dry cleaners um, to drop off some gowns that I wore wedding weekend. And I also ran to Trader Joe's. I got some flowers. I am obsessed with these, so beautiful. So I'm gonna do a little flower arrangement and then I got some just like random little things that I didn't get at Costco. We've got cream cheese, shallots and garlic for a pasta. I'm gonna make sourdough bread, my favorite, and then some more milk. So I'm gonna put these flowers together. I need to get like a little vase. I have all my vases up here and I have um, like water bottles and stuff that don't fit in the regular cabinet. And every time I look in here, I realize like how much of a problem I have with Flower vases, I'm like obsessed with them. Just got a knock on the door. The flower delivery after I just, <laughs> I just went and got flowers, but you guys, who are these from? <gasps> Love, oh my gosh, Revolve. Okay, um, what the f oh my gosh, you guys. Revolve literally sent me flowers for my birthday and uh, congratulations on the wedding from Kareen and the Revolve fam. This is so sweet. Happy belated birthday and congrats on getting married. We are so excited for you and Dylan and can't wait to celebrate soon in Miami. I'm going to Miami next week with Revolve and I'm so excited. This was so sweet of them. Love. I have more flowers over here too. I bought so many at Trader Joe's, I split them up. But speaking of Revolve, I just got some stuff in the mail. I'm gonna unbox this and I'll show you guys. I'm so excited about this. So excited about those, but I wanted to show you, I got some dresses for Miami, but I'm gonna save those for like my packing for Miami and like little haul for that. But I got this um, Le Labo Santal 33 laundry detergent just to put like a little splash in the top of all my loads. Literally smells like the one hotel candle. So I've heard really good things about this. So I got that and then I also got um, this little Colt Gaia anklet. I'm obsessed with Colt Gaia right now and I love their jewelry. I have the matching earrings for this. I wore it at my rehearsal dinner and then I also have like a shell necklace from them that I love, but this is so beautiful. You could also always wear it as a bracelet too. I wanted a cute anklet for summer. So this is like a really good quality one. So I'll link these products for you guys. It's been a little bit. I just got dressed for dinner. Um, they ended up having a recruit in town, so Dylan can't come to dinner. Cassidy and me are still gonna go meet my aunt and uncle for dinner. We're going to an Italian like pizza place that apparently is really good, so I'm excited to try it. Um, I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Kind of crooked, but it's fine. I haven't worn these jeans in so long, you guys. They're the Goldie 90s fit, and I used to love these, and then I just stopped wearing jeans, really. And then I started wearing low waisted, but I really like these white ones for summer. And then this belt is off of Revolve. I love it because you can wear it high waisted, you can wear it low waisted, there's holes all the way. Like there's so many holes in it. So really fits anyone's waist. It's one size fits all I think. And then this little just like plain cotton white tee is from Full Disclosure. It's Peyton Sarton's clothing brand. And then just this like little Y saw bag that I got off of forward and then I'm wearing these shoes which I believe that they're sold out right now on Revolve but I believe they're pre-order so I'll link them anyways and they're so cute I feel like it's like the perfect summer shoe and then I'm gonna bring just like a little blazer if I get cold in the restaurant but that's the little fit have on some gold jewelry I just fed Winnie we're gonna go eat. I don't think I'm gonna bring the camera because I'm bringing this tiny little bag but I told Dylan it's probably gonna be a late night because when we get back we need to get the furniture put together, so. <laughs>